All right. Hi, everyone. So we have a lot coming out of Google Cloud Next across data analytics, data management, artificial intelligence, and business intelligence. So today I have on the show Bruno Aziza, the head of data analytics and business intelligence at Google, to take us through the announcements and how they can help you. So Bruno, welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having me, Stephanie. So Bruno, we have done this together several times now, but for those who don't know you by now, you come to us from companies like Microsoft, Oracle, Business Objects, and many other data analytics startups that you helped launch. Your team spends a lot of time with customers. So tell us, what should customers be excited about this year and how are data, AI, and analytics launches aligned with what you see in the marketplace? Yeah, so if you're an audience at this point, if they don't know my passion is around customers, so I'm going to direct you to go and watch the customer sessions. There are many of them. We have Walmart, PayPal, Credit Karma, Box, L'Oreal, uh, MLB. And so those are, are great sessions that give you a sense of what's going on in uh, companies of all sizes innovating with, with data. You know, I particularly like Walmart. Of course, you heard them last time. Uh, and next, I think they were talking about uh, the, their BigQuery treatment for data. This time, they're going to talk about Lakehouse. The Lakehouse concept, uh, I think, is, is a, an important one for, for customers to, to really get connected, particularly people that have succeeded with it. Uh, myself, I had the opportunity to do a, a great panel with leaders from Snap, Deutsche Bank, and Wizard. So there's a lot there. I uh, really want to encourage people to go in and engage, not just watch the session, but reach out to the customers. Uh, there's also a great session on our Data Journey uh, channel uh, with Sanjay from Exabeam, where he talks about how to build data products, which I think is another trend that customers really are looking for best practices there. So that's where I would go first is find the, the customer sessions, listen to them, connect with the customers themselves. And then, of course, you know, lots of great innovation that I know we're going to break down here. Lots and lots of great new products and new capabilities that we're deploying in the marketplace uh, at Next this year. Super exciting. I also noticed that we had a great amount of partner announcements too, which is always a big positive. So how do you see all these announcements connect with what you see in the marketplace? Yeah, so I mean, we couldn't do what we're doing, you know, the, the speed at which we're innovating with customers and acceleration of their digital transformation if we didn't really partner well with the entire ecosystem. So of course, you know, I'm excited about the partnerships that, that we're announcing with MongoDB and Calibra and Elastic and Databricks and, you know, extended you know, work that we're, we are doing with them. Also, you know, enabling customers in the multi-cloud world. So, you know, we're going to show a BigQuery Omni a trial, which allows you to now kind of get a taste of what it's like to work in, in a multi-cloud environment. And so I really want to encourage uh, people to take advantage of that because, you know, our commitment is we're building for your environment. We want to meet you where you are. And so that's why you see kind of the spirit of these partnership uh, uh, announcements. In general, you know, there are three big trends that we see in the marketplace. You know, the first one is what I might call convergence, the convergence of data and workloads. The second one is this idea of governance. I call this governance with a big G because it's beyond just security and access. It's also around data quality and lineage. And then the third one is acceleration of deactivation. Now we have this data, you get access to more data, you can govern, you can have high quality data. How do you activate that data is what we'll be focusing on, you know, around these, these launches uh, at Next this time. All right. Yeah. So I know that we obviously we can't go through all of the launches, but let's try to highlight some of the big ones, particularly as they connect to these trends. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll start with the first one I'm particularly excited about is the support for BigQuery on unstructured data. So if you think about, you know, the history of BigQuery as this amazing analytics environment, you know, it's, a, you know, we think about it as a cloud data warehouse, but so much more, right? It's this limitless environment for analytics workload. And, you know, now with you know, support of unstructured data, it's opening all these opportunities of analyzing more types of data. So any data structured, semi-structured, unstructured now, you can run SQL on. And while this is really exciting for business analysts to be able to run these queries, what they also get is because it's inside BigQuery now, you get all the added services that you would get in BigQuery. So for instance, now you want to do machine learning on top of unstructured data. It's just available. It's right there because it is a core capability of BigQuery. So you know, great scenarios. Imagine that you're a real estate agent uh, analyst and you want to be able to predict the propensity of a house to sell based on its attributes. So while you can use structured attributes, now you can run BigQuery machine learning on unstructured attributes like photos, for instance. And so it kind of opens all these amazing scenarios that, you know, previously 
you know, alternatives would require different environments to run those. And so we're kind of bringing all that data into one place. So now people, business analysts using SQL can do more. Okay, so unstructured data. So that's obviously a huge point. But what else is there? So now that, you know, we've got people that have access to more data, we also want to bring additional uh, workloads. And so a few months ago, we announced Big Lake as a, as a preview, and we got a lot of great reaction from the marketplace on that. And because, of course, it's based on BigQuery as a, as a, as a platform, it allows us to get that feedback and innovate a lot faster. And so now what we announce at next is this idea of supporting more formats. And so we're going to start with Iceberg, and then we also announce uh, this idea of supporting additional formats that our customers are interested in, like Delta Lake or Hootie. And so that's the idea of now you've got more data, you've got more workloads, and, and you can enable more people to do more with that. The other announce that's really interesting around this is the idea of Spark in BigQuery, right? So, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about giving people this first, uh, you know, experience of Spark in uh, Google Cloud in general. And now what we've announced is BigQuery and Spark coming together as a, as a kind of a native workload. And so what's exciting about this, I think, is one, of course, you can find it all in BigQuery. So it allows people to kind of, you know, collaborate around data, collaborate around workloads, but also it provides administrators to know that you have a predictable environment, both from a billing standpoint, because now when you're running those workloads inside BigQuery, well, the billing is something that people are familiar with, BigQuery slots but also integrated security and all the other attributes around making sure that people are working with the right data and so forth. And so these three, right, unstructured, um, uh, semi-structured, uh, and structured data in the same place, really exciting. Uh, Spark uh, is uh, really exciting uh, for folks. And, and, and of course, this idea of extending Big Lake to more data formats is creating this environment where now you can work with any data in any workload across a platform. Yeah, exactly. Unstructured data, iceberg support, Spark and BigQuery. You are really making the case here for all data, all workloads there. That's the idea. The idea is, you know, we think about it as to enable their transition to accelerate innovation, they got to have limitless data, limitless workload. Uh, and now the next step is that, okay, now I get access to this gigantic ecosystem. And also, by the way, Analytics Hub is going GA as well. So that's another big piece of news because now you can create exchanges with external data and bring that into your environment also exchanges inside your organization and securely uh, you know create those exchanges people have access to so really creating an ecosystem inside your organization outside your organization what we want to add to that is trust of this data that's what i was talking about earlier this idea of governance with the big g dataplex has been a very successful product service for us and you know we released the service uh in ga at the beginning of this year got a lot of feedback a lot of great reaction from uh, our customers. It, the next level beyond that is introducing automatic data quality, uh, lineage, and all types of services that's going to you know, lend you in an environment where when you're building your data mesh and you bring BigQuery in combination of Dataplex, you now have the ability to secure, provide better quality around freshness and completeness of the data automatically from within the platform. And so you know, look back at the, the sessions with uh, Dataplex and the innovation that we are really launching inside this product. We, we expect there's going to be a ton of reaction there because it's additional functionality, but also additional functionality on more uh, data. You know, originally, uh, we started just in a, a very narrow set, and now we're expanding that to metadata discovery in Spanner, Bigtable, Cloud SQL, and Looker as well. And so we're really kind of expanded, if you will, the surface area of where you have data today that you want to make sure your people can trust. Okay, so more data, better data. So that's fantastic. But what else can we highlight here from Next? So you know that if it was me, we would cover all the launches, right? So I can't really do that here, but I, I, I want to kind of connect these themes, right? So you've got this idea of, you know, you build your data ocean and it's as wide as possible. You know, I use the term ocean. We've talked about this in the past because customers are telling us my environment is not a lake. The lake is, you know, is nicely surrounded by earth and so it's it's landlocked but my ocean is i never see the end of the data so we want to put capabilities that enable people to build their ocean in a secured manner scalable manner and so forth so that's step one the second bit here is trusting the data so that's why dataplex data quality lineage all these capabilities are super important now once you have that you can then activate your data and put it in front of people so they can now really lower the cost of innovation for themselves and so the first bit here is to think about what is the number one application or the number one 
interface or metaphor that people use. Like, and I'm not talking about data engineers or data analysts. I'm thinking about people like you and me, right? So business users. If you do a budget tomorrow, Stephanie, what is the tool you're going to be using? A spreadsheet, probably. That's right. So spreadsheets are very popular. In fact, I do most of my thinking in spreadsheets today because it's format. I understand rules, columns. I can make calculations happen. I can share it. I love sheets uh, functionalities around artificial intelligence, auto completion of my sums and so forth. So that tooling is very useful to me. And a few years ago, we introduced this concept of connected sheets, which now is connected sheets that can talk to BigQuery through connection, right? So now as a business analyst, you can imagine you've got access to this limitless analytics infrastructure and you know that passes on your rights. It's a collaborative environment. And now you can query lots and lots of data without really requiring a SQL. And that really has opened a lot of innovation inside organizations. Now, historically, Sheets was in the enterprise version of Workspace. And what we're announcing is that we're making this now broadly accessible. And so you want to go back to those sessions and take a look at how you activate that. The design here is democratization, more access to more types of personas who can use data at scale and need to do it in a modern manner, right? So spreadsheets of the past, they were disconnected. You had to download them, send them around. Not very secure, not very scalable, not very well connected to modern data environments. We are opening that up now and we, we see a ton of innovation around that. So that's a key announce that I'm really excited about as, as a spreadsheet fan myself. Now, what this is also opening is the idea of what is our philosophy around business intelligence? You know, when, if, when we look at the scenarios and the use cases customers are interested in, of course, we talked about this information worker idea of integration within you know, an environment, a workflow where you're in the spreadsheet and then you want to use that as a business user. We also know that there's people needing self-service and govern uh, business intelligence. And so we're bringing under the Looker family brand the idea of bringing Data Studio and Looker. And so now Data Studio is becoming Looker Studio and, and you know, it's, it's tightly connected with the rest of the roadmap of Looker. And then finally, we also know that the market is evolving with BI that goes beyond dashboards. And so what that means is people are building data products and they need BI to be accessed as, through an API as part of a consumer grade application that scales to millions of people. And this concept of building data products is really a disruptive one that we see some of the best organizations drive through. They can organize themselves as building data products. So they have a PM for their product and they have an engineering team around their products. In fact, the session I was talking about earlier with Xbeam is really around how do we teach organization to become data product uh, first. I have a mindset around data products. So, you know, you'll see a lot of innovation around that, how we enable organizations through Looker to have one semantic layer that is powering your applications, either custom, either through productivity suite or through the self-service and govern um, dashboards that they need so much. And so we do a lot of work with that. And to close on, you know, what we started with, partners also now get access to this universal semantic layer. We announce you know, the work that we're doing with Tableau and all our BI partners as well, where we want to just open up this idea of more data, more governed data, better data will lead to more innovation because the cost of experimentation is just going to go down because of accessible to more people. So you can expect more innovation from your people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, wow, we covered a lot of launches between big like BigQuery, Connected Sheets, and Looker. Uh, do you have any parting words for us here? Yes, and there's more, right? So so I, you have to keep me honest on just a few. And so what I would say is that if you've not been able to attend the Google Next sessions, go ahead and register because that gives you access to the replays and then engage, right? So if you watch something that you like from a customer, don't wait, just reach out to that customer on LinkedIn. Uh, of course, you can reach out to me as well. You know, we are doing these events and we are building these products for you. So we want to get your reaction, see what we can do. And then finally, what I would say is that every week we have a new interview of a customer in this uh, program called Data Journeys. It's a YouTube uh, playlist. And so I want to encourage you to subscribe there and make sure you follow our customers. These are not marketing videos. These are really focused videos on how the innovation is driven through our, our customers. And we want to share that with you as a platform so you can share with each other. So that's what I would say. Make sure to register, attend the recorded, uh, share that, reach out to us, reach out to the customers, reach out to me, tell us how we're doing. And then finally, follow us on uh, Data Journeys so we can get more customer uh, stories and, and best practices out to you. 
All right. Well, you heard it from Bruno. Very busy person, as you can tell. But thanks so much, Bruno. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks for having me, Stephanie.